Okay, so here's you a little video of my case annealing machine. I figure you're probably like me. You're here looking for some ideas. I took some of the basics from what I've seen on uh, YouTube and the internet. Did a little of my changes, so I'll let you see uh, what I did different and how I did it. So first of all, as you can see, I'm not using the pencil point torch. I'm using the swirl model. Uh, get a little better even heat with that. Now, the one thing here is uh, I did cut about three quarters of an inch off that torch so it would not get hot. I also have put a uh, fine-tuned adjustment on there to keep the flame where I wanted it. I also used the uh, indicating fluid to get my setup correct. Paint a little bit on the inside of the neck of the case to make that uh, set up a little easier. I use a variable speed control to set my speed the way I want it. Uh, one thing that I would recommend to everybody when you start building one of these is think about long term. Uh, I just finished running uh, roughly 4,000 cases through this thing, so you know it gets used a lot so as we walk around back you will see i use a one drive configuration one motor everything linked together with a timing belt and timing pulleys uh, i ordered two of everything so i would have spare parts up at the top you actually have the power supply the speed controller and one thing I did different on mine, if you notice here, I have adjustability where I could change the angles uh, for different cases. Right now I'm running 223s. Uh, I can run up to, you know, 308s, anything like that. I designed it to do that. Uh, everything here is pretty well built out of spare stuff I had laying around. Most of it is 6061 aluminum. Uh, Pretty easy to build. I would like to give a big shout out and thanks to my brother-in-law and Joey and his dad Woody, owners of Ambest Tool, that allowed me to use their lathe and mill to uh, make this wonderful little piece right here that loads my cases. But again, uh, this is just my model. Does a fine job for me with what I want to do. Thanks for watching.